Now that the components are all complete, we can finish putting the system together. Make sure that the grow bed is secure atop the fish tank. Put the system where you plan to keep it before adding media to the grow bed or water to the fish tank. Once full of media and water, the system will be very difficult to move. Before adding the media, rinse it with clean water. Ensure that the protective sleeve around the bell siphon is secure and add the media to the grow bed. Fill the grow bed with about six inches of gravel or clay balls, leaving about two inches to the top of the grow bed edges. Fill the fish tank with water, leaving at least six inches from the top of the water to the edge of the tank. This will help prevent fish from jumping out of the tank. Place the pump into the fish tank and thread the hose through the cage and up to the grow bed. Do not run the hose up through the back of the tank. If there's a problem with the plumbing connections or if the hose comes loose, the water will fall onto the ground and not back into the tank. Place the pre-filter on top of the grow media and wedge the pipe on the bottom down into the gravel. Hook the hose from the pump over the side of the pre-filter and secure it with the bucket handle. Turn on the pump and let the water run through the system. To modify the maximum level of water in the grow bed, raise or lower the standpipe. You want the maximum water level to be about one inch beneath the top of the gravel to limit algae growth. You can adjust the minimum level of water in the grow bed by changing the length of the air inlet tube on the outside of the bell siphon. It may not be possible to siphon all of the water out of the grow bed, but that is okay. As long as the water level goes up and down three to four inches, the roots will have access to the oxygen in the air. Add fish and plants and you're on your way. To learn more about how to operate and maintain your IBC aquaponics system, visit our website.